In this question, a student creates an electric motor shown here at two different times by twisting a piece of wire into a coil as shown in the diagram. So here's our coil shown at time one. And you can see it at time two also. They apply a voltage across the coil by attaching it to a battery. And they also place a magnet underneath, shown here, with the field shown here. It also says there's a small piece of tape that covers one side of the left wire of the coil and can block the current. So you can see that piece of tape shown in blue here and also here. At time one on the left, you can see the tape is on the top of that piece of wire. So it's not actually affecting anything at time one. However, at time two, when it's rotated upside down, the tape is underneath and it's actually blocking the current from traveling from the wire of the coil and through to the wire down here. So at time one, the current is free to flow, but at time two, when it's upside down, the tape is covering it and the current is blocked. So now that let's look at what's going on and let's figure out the direction of the current in the bottom wire of the coil at time one. For the direction, I know the current flows out of the long positive part of the battery. So it's going to the left when it comes out the battery. It then travels up, round and round so that it going to the right as it goes through the field. So I've got my thumb pointing to the right My fingers are pointing upwards in the direction of the field. And so we can see there my palm is facing outwards, which means the force is going to be out of the screen towards you. Then looking at time two, we're trying to find the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic force. So at time two, again, our current's flowing out of the long side, which is the positive side of the battery, up through the wire. When it gets to this point, however, that piece of tape is covering the connection between the two wires. So actually, there's no current that's able to flow through here. And as a result, there's going to be no current in the bottom of the wire. So at time two, none, there's no current. As a result, there's going to be no magnetic force. So at time one, it's being pushed out of the screen towards you as it spins up. Once it's rotated 180 degrees, there's no force acting, but it's already moving. So the momentum of the coil is going to keep it spinning until it gets back around to the time one location again, where it can be pushed again in the same direction out of the screen towards you. So will the wire be able to rotate continuously? Yes, it will, 